And also in your news this evening, hundreds of new jobs coming to Greenville. A company called Getronics says they're going to open a global service center and with it coming 500 new jobs. 7 News reporter Kimberly Brown was there for today's ribbon cutting. So Kim, tell us about this announcement. Well, Tom, today's announcement is about expanding, expanding the opportunity for employees to grow, expanding the services they provide for their customers, and also expanding the imprint and the impact that they're having right here in the upstate. As Detronics cuts the grand opening ribbon, they also blaze a path as they expand in the industry. But I would imagine for those folks that want to have a career in technology, would like to do it in a global setting. As much as they can consume, they can grow, that's the right kind of person for us. This announcement is part of a growing trend for the upstate, according to Hank Hyatt with the Greenville Chamber. New developments, new structures, and new buildings are constantly on the rise, changing the overall landscape of the area. I won't say this is surprising at all because when companies come here, they tend to expand. They like the talent, they like the educational system, quality of life, and they can find they can be successful in Greenville. So they grow. Jetronics is an IT service business that provides supportive services for other companies like Whirlpool, Centus, and Pella. So no, click it, like, no, right there. With 900 employees, they service companies in 23 countries. Expanding in Greenville is a part of the overall corporate plan. Great um, career path for those in the technical cybersecurity. The chairman says this growth helps the company expand its footprint in the global economy. And the company officials tell us that they hope to make sure that they fill these jobs by the end of this year. And one correction we want to make, they have a global reach of 9,000 employees. The 500 extra employees they have here in Greenville will just add to that number. Reporting live in Greenville, Kimberly Brown, 7 News.